What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick player of the week review today because to be honest with you, it's not great. It's not a great player of the week. I'm not going to get excited about the player of the weeks until they really start bringing something new to it. I mean, obviously we have a new car design. There's a couple of new players in here. Endrick is definitely a beast and I definitely like this card as a fox in the box. He is as close to Romario as you're going to get. And if you get him in a free spin, which you can play with the event and get a free spin in this, or if you actually just get him straight up with a 100 spin, a 100 coin spin or whatever, he's definitely Romario light. Like he's as close to Romario as you're going to get. Obviously not going to be as good, but he does have super sub fight and spirit. He's definitely modeled on Romario. You can, the way he plays in game, his movement. And I think we're going to have a lot of Endrick cards over the years, but this guy definitely is probably the pick of him. Very nice stats. These three boys at the back, obviously a soft spot for Fred. He was a red before Fred the Red. Good aggression, good defensive engagement. All of these are going to get boosts with the manager of about plus three. So his aggression is not going to hit 90. His speed and acceleration are not going to hit 85. But the rest of the card is pretty decent. It's just below where you'd want it to be for a meta center midfielder. He's not going to hit those heights. You also have Savage and Galeno. Um, again, just a bit of speed here as an attack and full back, left back. He's had a couple of cards over the years. And on A form, he's pretty decent, but he doesn't have any defensive stats or skills. As an attack and fullback, you kind of need that now if you are going to be playing the likes of Carlos. You can still train him up. Trent, Philip Lamb, they can all play uh, attacking or defensive. You know, obviously, the defensive fullbacks like Turam and them are going to be good and Bergomi. Uh, Marcus Lorente, not his best card, but definitely not his worst. He's a really good player as well. He's down actually as a right back here. He pretty much can play anywhere from right back up to SS. Right midfield, centre, defensive and attacking midfield. It's a very, very nice card. Probably one of the most underrated cards in the whole of eFootball. In eFootball 22, he was one of my favourite centre midfielders. He was absolutely insane. I don't like this card as much because if he's an attacking fullback, I'm just not going to play him there. He doesn't hit any thresholds that you'd want for him. So it's a bit of a disappointing one. And then, of course, we have Madueke and Kubo. Kubo, Madueke and Barcola, all very similar players. Speed, pace, dribbling. Obviously, you've got Barcola here, the PSG youngster. He gets the booster. He's going to have agility plus three with his A form. First time shot, soul control, chop turn, double touch. He doesn't have flip flop, so he can't do ball roll or the advanced double touch. But it's a nice card. He's got some nice AI playing style as well. Um, yeah, one touch pass seems to be eluding him. I reckon what they're going to do at one touch pass for eFootball when they bring it out in a couple of weeks' time, I reckon one touch pass is going to be a big a skill, like a booster skill. It won't be with every player because they've, they've slowly started to kind of eradicate it and it's extremely rare. I think I've opened 250 skill trainers in the last six months and I haven't got one one touch pass. So that goes to show. Um, but it's a nice card and it's the same can apply to Kubo here as well. I'm not going to make this video longer than it needs to be. Kubo here with 90 acceleration, his balance, his type possession is not going to reach the 90 threshold, but the acceleration, ball control and dribbling does with finishing at about 85. And fresh off his hat trick, it's another winger here with a booster, kicking power, balance, finishing, ball control, all pretty decent. And of course, he does have some fairly nice player skills as well. But again, no one touch pass and no flip flap. So he can't do advanced double touch or advanced ball roll. So that is a bit of a concern there. Romero. So I've seen a few people ask me about Romero with his booster. His speed acceleration is at right at the threshold for a destroyer, but is a little bit too slow compared to the likes of Maldini and the big ones. These guys, lads, are mid game. Like the bigger player of the weeks are mid game. Very nice stats. A lot of people will like this card because he's got all the player skills as well. You can just slot him into any formation that you have. And then, of course, we have Kavara. So, Kavrachkilia, this guy is kind of switched up his game a little bit this season with Napoli. They are struggling a little bit for creativity. So, he has actually gone attack and midfield. That's where he's kind of playing in a double pivot attack and midfield. Soul control, double touch. He doesn't have flip flop. Again, you can't train at him. You can't give him SS, RCF as his training program because or his position program because you can't do that with player of the week but it's a good card one touch pass true passing long range shooting dipping shot it's a good card it is a good card but it's not as good as the other cards that he had and then Haaland all you need to know about Haaland lads 68 type possession and 55 balance makes this card unusable like all Haaland cards I honestly think they should just bring out like a, an 85 balance or a 90 type possession card because technically he is quite good in those close, close areas, right? So that is the spin there, man. If you want to get a free spin, you can do it in the events. We're just going to do a cheeky one here. I will have more spins on the live stream that when we're doing it. Let's see who we do actually get. It is Barcola, the booster man himself. If you want to, you can get a free spin with this. Let's just do one more cheeky one. Let's do one more cheeky one here for you guys. And we'll leave the last one. But I will have my other spins on my other profile. We do get Marcus Lorente here as well. 
Maybe we should go for Indrik. We'll do one more and we'll have our free spin then as well, which will open and hopefully get Indrik with the long range shooting. But that is the spins. That is everything. It's Fred the Red, the X-Red. But that is it. And then you get your free one of the events. Let me know what you guys think of these player of the weeks. Up next, we will have this summer transfer trio that we got as well. We actually got donations on our stream the other day. We had a mental stream on the Thursday and we've got all of these players. So I'm going to show you the best builds, how to train them, bit of gameplay and talk you through them. Peace.